Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 3 Ruined World. This will be part 48 of our Let's Play, and in the last episode we finally arrived at, uh, Archmage, I guess, Erica's Tower. Uh, she's the most powerful spellcast in Avernum. She used to have, I, I, I seem to recall in the, in the previous games there was like a triumvirate, um, between, it was like her, some other guy, and... Someone in the Tower of Magi, I don't remember, but it seems like they probably died between the two games. So, nevertheless, uh, we were talking to her, we went to get a special little tracking thing, so I guess we'll give that back now. Uh... Ooh, I have learned more about the source of the Monster Plagues. I'm glad you have come to me. Tell me what you know. I found your symbol in the slime pit, the source on the surface of a Plague of Monsters. Yes, I know. That is one of the reasons that I have welcomed you here. Before you judge me too harshly based upon that ludicrously obvious attempt to cast doubt upon me, there is a story I want to tell you. Uh, I have found evidence that the dragons are responsible for the monster plagues. It would not surprise me if they have a hand in this. They are powerful. They are on the surface, and they hate the Empire. I shall see if I can contact them and learn more of this matter. I found evidence that the Vanatai are responsible for the Plague of Monsters. I would not be surprised. They hate the Empire, and they have the power. You should search the surface further. Perhaps you will find the true identity of our hidden foe. Uh, another question. I got that amulet you mentioned. You present the amulet to Erika. She says, Excellent. Now I wish to cast a spell, bonding the amulet to you. If you accept, I will be able to track your progress, and if things get truly desperate, I can aid you. Be warned, however, I have little patience with those who spurn my aid. This is the only time this boon will be offered. Do you accept it? I ex well, I guess we'll accept her aid. I'm still a bit suspicious of her, but it definitely seems to be like, first thing we find points to Erica, one of Avernum's top mages. Second thing we find points to dragons who've helped Avernum quite a bit in the past. Third thing we find points to the Vanatai, which are in Avernum. Like, you know, it's a bit of a cosmic coincidence if those three were all working separately. You know, like, it seems more likely to me that they're just sort of taking, going like, how do we frame Avernum? Like, we'll frame them with all the things Avernum. Uh, I accept your aid. She grins, an unnerving sight at best. Excellent. She immediately begins to cast a long, involved spell. The amulet glows and sparks fly. Her chanting increases in intensity to a fever pitch and then ends suddenly. That seems to have been the spell, although you didn't feel anything. I can now chart your progress wherever you go and can aid you when things are dire. The amulet can only be removed by extremely strong magic. Now go. Good luck to you. Uh, what boon did you wish to give me? You've received my boon. What you do with it is your choice. Interesting. That is all I need. Then I wish you luck. I truly do. You can return to the surface. For my power, I must still envy you. Right, there was something we couldn't read. It was back there, right? We need, like, one more level in arcane knowledge. Oh, something's added to my diary. Uh, which is probably day 53. Receive an amulet from Erica, which will supposedly allow her to keep track of movement and assist if need be. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go back and talk to old what's his name, Anaximander. And then we'll, we'll see what to do from there. Because do I have any other quests down here? I don't really think so, do I? Uh, this power wizard, figure out who's responsible for the monster plagues. Okay. Beauty. Okay. Don't I have that? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, I thought I went and grabbed that. Uh, this is metal is hidden at the base of the stone spire due north of the center of the diamond. Inner blades. Hill near the inn to the north on the east side of the river. Okay. Well, tough to try and remember that. Uh, Asagi Cave. Squeakers hunt down Zhang. Or Zhang. Uh, fine meal. P 
poor Nephilim. You found a band of poor Nephilim in the abandoned farmhouse. They're looking for a bar of iron so they can forge some quality weapons. Well, I can do that. We have plenty of bars of iron. Uh, black basalt. Marble busts. Uh, Angel's rest. Okay. That's the south. Okay, so I have to go Lorelei. Okay, so yeah, there's nothing to do down here. Sorry, that took a really long time. I, like, I, f I forgot what quest we've actually got, so I was actually like reading what we're doing. Uh, run away quickly. I don't need to talk to them. I don't care. I don't care. So let's try and talk to Anaximander again, then, and see what he says now that we've visited the uh, old what's the face Erica. And Aximander smiles nervously. Anything else I can help you with before you return to your explorations? I know you have a lot to do. Do you think that Erica is responsible for the creature plagues? The way she has behaved, I'm still not sure. You should not act against her until you are absolutely sure she is responsible. She can assist you in many ways, even if she is the one creating the monsters. Might the three great dragons be responsible for the surface plagues? Koth, Aphron... Athron and Solfras have every reason to hate the Empire. The Empire has slain most of the world's dragons. Revenge is a reasonable desire. The three dragons have left Avernum for the surface. They may be up there somewhere. You should seek them, and if you find them, ask them what they know. Do you think that the Vanatai are responsible for the surface plagues? The Empire, in their war with us, stole three of the Vanatai's crystal souls. To them, there is no greater crime, and their leader, Rentar Eno, did swear vengeance. Possible. Yes, yes it is. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, hang on. Uh, I've done some exploring, can you give me more instructions? Keep finding out what is happening, and if you get the chance, keep the monster plagues from doing too much damage. If the surface world is destroyed, we will have nothing to return to. If you work as well as you have been, you will be rewarded. Okay, so no, basically. What I'm hearing is no, there's no more instructions. So... I guess the question becomes, where do we go on the surface? Um, okay, well there's a lair of the Ursagi, so I guess we could go and kill that. There's the Inn of Blades. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose we need to go, like, further north, don't we? I feel like we need to keep going this way. Right? See, seems appropriate. But we did have something at the Inn of Blades. Alright, so we have to go up here. Dum -da 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 -dum. One of your characters suddenly falls ill for some reason. Hmm, gee, I wonder why. I should go and sell those uranium bars, actually. Did we already grab them? Probably did, right? <laughs> Four dark thoughts. Fun. Uh, get metal lumps. Arion in the Inn of Blades. There he is. Oh. Did we, like... Should we, like, sell them by accident? Uh, found at a hill near the inn. He said, To the north on the east side of the river are several spires of stone in a diamond shape. The metal is hidden at the base of a stone spire due north of the center of the diamond. Oh, okay, so it's a stone spire north of the center. So maybe it's in over there. So it's like here. Maybe? No? Because I'm guessing, like, that's north, that's east. Ooh, hello. That's a hidden goodie. Just skirt around. Actually, yes, I will do some shopping. What have you got? Nothing. Excellent. God damn it. This is what I was trying to avoid, but I... <laughs> I, uh, skirted a little too close. Alright. Dig 
that up. Scroll of Lightning. Guess that's not awful. Nope, not this time. So yeah, it was to the north, and then east, a stone spire. So that's the diamond shape, I believe. I mean, it's a square, but I can see how you'd say it was a diamond. A stone spire due north, so it'll be this way. Quite confused. But there is an area over here that we kind of haven't visited as much. Like just here. Wait, was there something here? Did we get attacked by something? Yeah. Band of ogres leading bears on chains. Yeah, did we come across these last time where we couldn't beat them? They like kicked our ass. Is that what happened? Because it's a bit weird that we haven't been in that little corner. You would uh, you would think that we would try to go everywhere. Yep, you get him, shitty Nephilim. Oh wow, you actually like hockey pucked him somewhere that matters. Okay, shield chant doesn't really matter because you guys are going to be so dead. These ones will probably survive, since Jesh Osh isn't quite as much of a beast as the Aussie nerd is. Yeah, just kill the ogre. God, you Nephilim just do nothing. <laughs> like, really? Really, you are doing literally nothing. Okay, just shank him up. Ah, uh, whoops, I meant to press G, my bad. The Nephilim thank you, saying in a purring way how ogres often capture Nephilim for use as slaves and food. By way of thanks, they give you a small flask. They then depart a good deal more cautious than before. I got an energy elixir. Isn't that nice? Okay, I'm being chased by these stupid snakes. Why are you chasing me? I can't imagine this will go well for you. I guess maybe they're just like an aggressive type pack, so they just don't, like, they, they just chase anything, regardless of the level difference. Okay, well I don't really know what they mean there, because that's definitely the diamond, there's no spur of rock to the north. I don't know. I don't know, because it was across the river to the north, but to the east, or whatever, wasn't it? Um, da 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 da. To the north, on the east side of the river. Yeah, no, just no idea. No idea. There is an island just there, though, which is kind of strange. And an island there. We must get a boat at some point, like our own boat that we can just use to go wherever we want. Hmm. Oh, we can fly up here now. Can't we? We must fly! Whoosh. There's nothing here. I must fly back. Okay, we're just kind of wandering around. It's, it's my bad. It's over here. Yeah, I see more stuff. Maybe we should go this way. We should go that way. What town is this? Goldale. Now, Goldale was the uh, black basalt people, right? No, that was Sharon Meek. Goldale wanted something done, didn't they? There. Another set of mines farther east of Goldale is full of Ursagi. Yeah, all the way over there. Okay. We can sort that. That's that's no real issue. Uh, hang on. Am I dumb? Sorry. Stupid question. Uh, I am dumb. But what I meant was, 
can I not just fly across the river there? Because I, I know you use flight to uh, get up little ledges, but I'm pretty sure you can just use it to cross any gap. Uh, within a certain range, obviously. Nice repost. Ugh. Stupid bloody flingers, aren't they? No, that doesn't say what they are. Throwing their bowlers at me. Who throws a couple of sticks tied together with... Sorry, a couple of rocks tied together with rope. Who throws that, really? Who throws a shoe? Right, kill him. We can't do anything. We can, though. Maybe it's worth popping into Goldale or somewhere like that anyway, just so I can get my, uh... Or, so, or rather, offload some of my crappy items. Right. Done. Yeah, because can I not just go up here? Eh. Cows, really. And then just go flight there. Yeah, I can. Ha! I knew it. Knew it. Okay, so let's explore this way a bit then. This secluded valley is home to a number of nasty, ravenous lizards. Sensing easy prey, they decide to gang up on you. Uh, no, I don't want to avoid them. They sense easy prey, do they? I think they need to get their senses checked then. Because there is no easy prey here. Although, I will admit, the mutant lizards are taking a bit of a pounding. The trick is, though, I doubt they can deal out much of a pounding. Oh, wait, that's right, we have salamanders with their stupid fire step bullshit. God damn it. Right. Seriously, you three can just go straight to hell. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Do not bother me again. Do not talk to me or my party ever again. <laughs> I like how the mutant lizards have already just given up on killing these two. Okay, look, Jesh Oshi really letting the team down. See, look, why can't you be more like Horum? That was a damn good critical hit. Did about as much damage as you did, and you've got a massive spear. And actual training. Alright, kill that. Kill that. Heal him. Shoot that. Okay, Cordelia, you're not much better at the moment. I'll, I'll be honest. Really gonna need you to pick your game up a bit. Okay, so how'd that easy prey go for you, lizards? Yeah? Easiest prey? Uh, that, okay. This human, you think, body has been lying here for many years. The bones are dry and bleached. Clothes have rotted away, and there's only, and there are only chunks of rust where its weapons were. All that's left are its pair of gloves. Amazingly, they still look like new. Take it, take it. Don't even, don't even question it. Uh, what do we got here? Momentum gauntlets. Pretty good armor. Negative five chance to hit. Plus one to quick action. Plus one to lethal blow. That's pretty neat. Oh, which is what he's already got. Yeah, done. Equip that on him. Equip that on Jesh Osh. Done. Easy. Now they both have it. Um, oh shit, while I was in Fort Emergence, I should have put away the stupid Xi'an crap. In these isolated hills, you find a small mine. Someone dug into the rock face, then abandoned it. At the end of the shaft, you receive an unexpected stroke of good luck. A recent mudslide has exposed a vein of shining metal. It is waiting for someone like you to dig it out. Take it. You fill your packs with as much of the ore as you can carry, pretty much playing out the vein. This won't make you rich enough to retire, but the stuff is valuable enough to justify the effort. I mean, a little bit of fine steel. It's... Like, I'm not disappointed, but I think it's a bit excessive to say that it's, oh, not quite enough to retire. Like, not at all enough to retire. 
A recent heavy rain caused a large landslide. A thin layer of mud covers all of the broken rock and rubble. A recently exposed shard of crystal protrudes in the mud. Take it. A wisdom crystal. Ah, done. Done. Love me some wisdom crystals. Um, okay, that should go to like you. And I will definitely take the wisdom crystal. Is there any other crystals we have that we should be passing off? I don't think so. We could almost throw away the piercing crystals by now. I, I think that we are definitely beyond their usefulness. Um, I might even sell some wands, actually. I, I keep sort of, like, forgetting but not forgetting. Like, forgetting but also remembering that they're not that good. Uh, Angel's Rest. What am I doing here? Uh, was that... It was Sihar the Sage. I, Starcap Shami, paid Sihar of Angel's Rest good money in return for knowledge of my training. She promised knowledge it was not delivered. Okay. Guess we're going here, then. And finding Sihar the Sage. Wait. Was that the house over here? Yeah. And we grabbed something from here, right? We, we did take something. Because what do you want? It's like, go to their house and... Try to remind her what she owes me. Unless they're like in a... In an inn of some sort, like up here. Talk to Adrian. Okay, no, they don't. Uh, they don't know anything. Yeah, it's still pointing us here, like we have some unfinished business here. But I don't, I don't believe there is any unfinished business. Oh my god, can we sell some stuff? Yes, I'd like to sell you something. Um, we'll take out some bars of iron. Uh, oops. Sorry, just yeah, just remember we're gonna take out some. Bars of iron. Just because the those uh was it Nef Nephil wanted it. Meanwhile, we can sell all that. And let's do an actual sale. So let's look at this. Alright. Purging crystal we'll hang on to. Uranium bar, go away, go away. Uh Gion Pouch we'll hang on to. Battle crystal we'll hang on to. Invulnerability potion we'll certainly hang on to. Uh, we'll get rid of a candle. Okay, can't sell it because it's not worth anything. Uh, curing potion, curing elixir, that's all fine. Focusing crystal. Black basalt shielding potion recall. I'm going to sell the piercing crystals. I think we are beyond their usefulness. Um, and we don't need to keep them anymore. And we might even sell the Scribane. Yeah, you know what? We'll sell the Scribane. We'll, we'll sell the, the Medieval Weed. Uh, Terra Wand, don't want. Uh, we're keeping a hand on the Molten Halberd because this does more damage against Giants, right? Yeah. Might be time... ...to take this back. Maybe? Hmm. No, I mean, this Molten Halberd is better in damn near every way, so we might just sell that. And uh, we'll grab the Molten Halberd back. Now that we're not sort of fighting giants, like, all the time. Uh, what else we got here? Mass Healing. That might be handy. Wand of the Inferno? Probably not. Basilisk Fang Wand. That's probably handy. Um, okay, Spine Shield we don't really need. Spell Ward we don't really need. Domination will be nice. Return Life, definitely one. Sanctification, that's fine. Recovery, don't really care. Crystalline Wand, that's kind of shit. Another Battle Crystal, you know, we'll get rid of that one. We don't need them on two separate people. Basilisk Fang. I think that's right. So now we look at you. 
Uh, haste, that might be useful. Wand of Death. Somehow I don't think that's actually going to kill something, but we'll see. We don't need two of them, though. Rod of Defense, don't think we want. Nullity Shield. We took that off because it over encompassed you, so let's just sell it. Uh, Acid Shower, we definitely don't need any more. Spine Shield, again, we don't need any more. Radiate Ice, again, we have the spell to do it. And I think we can probably cast it better than these scrolls. So why would we hang on to it? Right. How much are we looking at now? Also, we'll uh, use these. 14,000. Not bad. Uh, there's a weapon shop, which we don't care about. The only problem with this game is sort of every time you come back to it, you have to remember what the, what the hell you were doing. There's no one in here either. Okay, so maybe we go back to wherever we have to come from there. And we'll just hand that in. There's the Black Vassal, right. Oh, God damn it. Stupid troglodytes. Ah, crap. I didn't equip you with your halberd again. My bad. There we go. Enjoy. Enjoy halberd. I knew I was going to forget that. As soon as I took it off, I was just like, oh, damn it. Just like, that's it. I'm going to get into a battle and forget. Thankfully, you can equip weapons in combat and swap them over. God, how do you miss a guy when he's dazed? How bad can you be? Yeah, see, there you go. That's better. Dead, dead, and you just pop him once. Slow him down a bit. Not quite. That's death. That's death. Cool, just just the two throwers. Oh, wow, you're uh, in snare war off. I should have just run up and attacked you. Not that it matters. It's sort of gotten to this point in the game where these are just shit tier, like rubbish shit kickers that mean nothing. Now, black basalt, because that was from somewhere. Ah, uh, sun's rest up waiting for an Aminro. Okay, no, so it's Sharamik I need to go to, which is over this way. So let's return to Sharamik and hand in some of these quests. We'll just, like, go and talk to everyone again. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. What the fuck is this? City Hall. Don't want to go there yet. I don't think. Who's in here? Spragans. Learning spells. I like spells. Done. Oh, I got a got an achievable. Unachievable. Hello. Looking for people that offered me quests. Knock knock. Quinn. Okay, you don't seem to have anything interesting to say. It's almost disappointing in this game. Like barkeeps never seem to have anything interesting to say. You think they'd be the ones like offering all the quests? But apparently not. What sort of shop is this? Make tools. Okay. Uh. Well, he said he makes tools. He wasn't wrong. There are actually like the quote tools. Stock up training. Okay. You tell Starcap the Seahurst home is raided by troglodytes. Hmph, <clears throat> I guess this means I'll never get the valuable secrets I paid for. But then if she couldn't defend herself from a handful of troglodytes, how much could she have known? He gives you a rat tail, twisted into a loop. Odd. Uh, I would like to be trained. Hmm, okay. Rude. Ah, uh, but I did get an item. A rat tail band. Plus one dex, plus two percent chance to parry. That's not bad. I think we're a bit beyond it. 
Like, unless he's got something absolutely rubbish. Oh, wow, actually, that is pretty rubbish. Uh, it does add melee damage, though, so how about we don't? Uh, you've got the Ten Blessings ban, which is good for you, and... Yeah, you've got the Mage Stone, so that's... Oops. Jump back. Okay, that's that's just trash. It's very Skyrim of it, like, you know, you go you go back to these early things and you're just like, Oh, I did that thing you asked me to do a thousand years ago, and they're like, Here, have this sword, and you're like, Thanks, as you put it in, like, your trash bag. A big bag that's just labelled trash weapons, and you just dump it straight in. Uh, what do you got for weapons? Farsight longbow. Interesting. Uh, is it better than mine, though? Not really. Uh, more physical damage. Doesn't do acid, though. Actually, it's it's quite a bit better. Missile adds 50% bonus. Huh. No, wait, that's... Sorry, no, wait, that's my ever-rotting bow. It's 50% bonus. Oh, no, 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 it, it's it's absolutely rubbish, then. Uh, what about... Uh, you don't use them? I could just change it out for you. Couldn't I? Yeah, we'll do that. Sure, thanks. Uh, fast light one, though. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Is there anything here? Uh, message, deliver an item. Message, rush delivery, I don't care. I don't care about any of that. Uh, who else are we talking to? The Black Basalt. Who wanted that? Ellen. Ellen of Sharamik. That's Ginny. Is there someone over here? Perhaps? Grove? Some trading? Ooh, a Jewelist Rapier. Wow, I should check these shops more often. Um, basic attack sword. Is that different than a long sword? Like a broadsword? Yes, it is. Basic attack broadsword. Ah! So this could be used in the offhand. In that case, that's very interesting. No, except, hang on, let's just take this off for a minute and throw that in the main slot so we can compare. Uh, Jewel's Rapier, 78 to 312, so it's already better in damage and it does other things. So yes, I will absolutely just buy this. Uh, now, it won't be better here, I don't imagine. It might be better damage, but... Molten Halberd has lethal blow, so that's pretty good. Plus it's 1800 bucks, and I just spent 4500 on this stupid rapier, so... Probably best I don't go wasting more money. Uh... Right. I hate doing this, too. Just, just wasting time, like, going back. Going all the way back just to find some people that want some crap, but... Unfortunately... Let's come out to Cory. Ah, uh, actually, can I...? Hmm, okay. You don't actually say anything. Ellen, there you go. So did you take all of it? No, you didn't. Do you want more? <laughs> you want more basalt? Ah, nice. Don't... Oh wow, I'm nearly out of coins. Oof. Okay, I didn't get mass curing. That's right. We did waste a lot of money, like a lot of money on... Uh, on... on weapons, which I shouldn't have, because my warriors are perfectly fine without new weapons. Uh, who do I sell to? I don't remember. I sold to, like, him, didn't I? No, or was it the adventurer? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, have that crap. 
448 coins. You can see what I mean, though, that, like, your coins disappear very rapidly. Like, we were pretty sorted, and then suddenly, bleh, all gone. Uh, the Troglodyte King gave me a message for you. He shakes his head. I no longer have need for you. Be sure to consult the magical tome in our library. I suggest heading north to Lorelei now. You may be able to help them with their giant problem. Do you think that's something to do for you? Yeah, okay, no. Fair enough. Did we hand in the Lorelei one? I don't think we did, right? We, we definitely completed it. The, the giants are fucked. So are the troglodytes, but I, I don't think we actually, like, handed that in. That Lorelei. Now, I don't think I have any Scribane left on me, so I should just be able to go straight through here. Um, yes. There you go. No Scribane. Good stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. They are a happy lot, no doubt, because the giant army is now occupied elsewhere. Yeah. Okay, so the mayor's office was probably this one, is it? Nope, that's an inn. It's close. Ah, it was this one, obviously. You described the goings-on in the Animar camp to Lyle. Hmm, unusual, unauthorized, but harmless. We'll deal with them when the war is over. Gives you a potion and a pouch of coins. Pleasant. Ah, uh, okay, I don't really care. I just want to find the town hall, which should be here somewhere. I suppose it will say. City hall, there we go. Alright, ah, Hawk's Mans, which we haven't been to. The one that we can buy, right? Uh, I have caused the giants to fight a different foe. Tell the tale. The mayor listens to the tale of the barrier cavern. You can tell that she doesn't believe a word of it. True, most giants have stopped attacking us. That doesn't mean I will let every scruffy traveller claim, claim credit and grab a reward. Uh, Mayor, have you any missions for me? She leans forward and pats you on the arm. We have no need for your help. Not with the Empire to look after us. Rest, stay safe, and wait. The Empire will provide, I'm sure of it. So, was it not the Mayor that gave us the thing? Was it the Commander? I think it was, right? Because the, the mayor was like, no, no, the Empire will save us, and everyone's like, the Empire's not doing anything. Uh, the giants have turned their attention to a different foe. Ruskrod listens to the tale of the barrier cavern. She is fascinated. Sounds like you've done much for us. I would repay a Vernon for this aid, but I am a mere commander. I don't have the power. There is someone who does, though. His name is General Bazaron. He is stationed in Tevrona, to the northwest. He leads the battle against the golems there. I will send word ahead. You should talk to him if you can. He is in a position to help you. He might be able to pay the debt we owe you. Uh, how do you know I'm Ammonite? Hmm, yeah, okay. Uh, how goes your battle with the Giants? The Giants bombarded us constantly. Now they only raid us occasionally. Alas, those raids still cost us dearly. And still we receive no help from our leaders. Okay. So now we have to go to Tevrono. So there we go, we've handed in that that quest. I didn't think we'd actually handed that in. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. So we do still have some sort of just random quest to do. Northwest was this way, right? I don't have a quest for that. That's northeast. North, east, south, west. That's east, whatever. Doesn't matter. But we are going to leave this episode here. I know it was a pretty slow episode. We were just like cleaning up uh, the crap that we've uh, got clogging up our journal. Because every time I play one of these games, I get like really close to the end of the game and go back through my journal and there's like 50 quests that I don't remember where anything is. Um, so I'm trying to sort of mitigate that with this one. But anyway, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Think you know any friends of mine enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so that I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.